morning um, i start my video lecture series by the topic of solid state physics okay physics now most of the time my students ask me about what are the reference books that should i follow they are um, first kettle it is the very basic book then second is ascroft merman then third one is puri and barber it's a indian author book and then waha for the numericals it's good for numerical purpose okay now second is that um, i will start my main point that whenever we are discussing about the matter okay matter then we should consider four states right because plasma is also a form of matter solid liquid gas and plasma some of where you have listened that so liquids and gas are included in the same uh, state as they are flow but we should always keep in mind that the distance between the two atoms that is in the nuclear distance it is more in gas than in the solid next since our topic is solid so we can distinguish solids into two parts that are crystalline and second is what non crystalline okay now this crystalline has several properties just like a periodicity periodicity or can say orderness more stable follows particular pattern all these comes in the, in the same so i am saying that what it, i mean about the um, more stable see when i am saying that it is orderness means they have the energy of stabilization more energy of stabilization zation is more okay so uh, these uh, as compared to our non crystalline solid they are disordered disordered and they are less stable also whenever we are comparing with our crystalline solid okay now my next uh, topic will be discussing in detail about crystalline materials crystalline now when i am considering it is a crystalline then i should consider some of the uh, keywords that are lattice so how can i am discuss lattice see when i am saying that uh, crystals have a particular regular pattern which are in ordered form or i can say more accurately that it is a periodic so these if i consider one point to another point a distance then again moving second step i will get a only at the a distance again when from this point i will travel a certain distance a i will get again so this entire thing is called lattice okay now when i consider this single cube then it is called what cell or unit cell more precisely okay and these points see these points these points are called lattice points lattice points so in a lattice what are the three things uh, next i will say unit cell unit cell so what it is the most single cell which when repeats itself we get a entire lattice means after repeating repeating we get entire lattice okay now this unit cell is further divided into primitive unit cell 
and non primitive units okay so what mean by primitive see uh, if i am considering a three dimensional cell that will be a cube right so if i draw a cube like this way then these are the points that are called lattice points hmm lattice point now when the lattice point shared only one atom in the entire cell in unit cell then it is called primitive one okay but this is not the case all the time if my cube shared more than one atom see this is my basic structure right if it is in the base like this way then i will say it is a base centered now if i say that they are present in the, all the faces of that cuboid then it is a face centered and if it is present on the body then it is called body centered okay so when i mixed all these three they are form non primitive okay so the basic broadification i have already discussed here now second thing is that i will say that basis what is mean by basis basis is a very important thing in any lattice structure that see if i consider only one kind of arrangement means one kind of atomic sites then single unit cell is formed by the all the four atoms are same kind so it is one basis lattice okay now if i consider this one in another lattice like this way okay so if this is the my single and it contains once more then i will say that it is a two atoms or two types of lattice sites so it is two bases okay it is not necessary that i will consider like this way i can consider like this way also this can be also my unit cell okay so this will be my centered one and this will be my unit cell or if i take this one then this will be my centered one secondly one thing is more that we can arrange our lattice in one dimension then it will be a single chained array okay it will be a single chained array now if i am traveling a distance a then it is a translation unit vector now basis of that translation vector and my translation vector will be t and it travels n times and getting a similar point in two dimensional ठीक है सो इफ इन दिस डायरेक्शन यूनिट वेक्टर इज ए एंड इन दिस डायरेक्शन इफ द यूनिट वेक्टर इज बी देन माय ट्रांसलेशन वेक्टर विल बी व्हाट माय ट्रांसलेशन वेक्टर विल बी ए आई प्लस बी जे बिकॉज दिस ट्रांसलेशन वेक्टर विल व्हेन ट्रैवल्स आई विल गेट अनदर वन एन टाइम्स ऑफ दैट टी ओके एंड दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज कॉल्ड प्रियोडिसिटी periodicity now again if i consider three dimensional lattice then what i have i have three unit vectors right x y and z and my t will be what a x b y c z okay so translation 
when i am saying that t is the translational uh, vector okay translational vector so what it travels in the different kind of systems means in 2d system crystal system or in 3d crystal system we can say uh, they form different kind of bravias lattice okay so for 2d system we have five kinds and in 3d system we have 14 kinds okay 14 kinds of bravias lattice so one thing is more also important that when i am saying that uh, we are uh, crystals so they are of two types okay don't forget i just slip out it is uh, single crystalline and polycrystalline in single crystalline we the entire crystal is formed by a single kind of lattice boundaries but for the polycrystalline if i consider this is my sample this is my sample then they have the grains okay and these are called gain boundaries gain boundaries and in that gain boundaries there is a arrangement of the lattice lattice arrangement lattice arrangement fine so now come back to our uh, bravias lattices see unit cell are of two types right unit cell are of two types primitive and non primitive right the so non primitive contains body centered base centered and face centered all are cubic lattices all are what cubic lattice so what we get finally is that uh, in two dimensional when i will teach you a uh, just a minute your slide when i am teaching you a two dimensional lattice structures two dimensional bravias lattice we have basically four but uh, uh, the rectangular one is distinguished and it uh, one is simple and one is centered so it becomes a four kinds okay first is that square lattice square lattice then it will be like this way two dimensional right so if it is a then this will be also a so a is equal to b or i can say this one also as b and the angle gamma is equal to 90 degree now when it is a rectangular lattice rectangular lattice then a will not equal to b these are my lattice points or lattice sites then if it is a and it is b then for rectangular it not equal to b but gamma is always equal to 90 degree but here one things is more that is subdivided into centered rectangular but it is centered one so how can i draw this centered one like this way okay here is also so if it is a and this is b then a is not equal to b consideration will be remains same third is mine hexagonal 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 means what like this way this is my lattice structure and the angle which is gamma it is 120 degree and this is a and this is b okay fourth is my oblique oblique is the most different kind of lattice structure see means a is not equal to b and 
gamma shouldn't be supposed to equal to 90 degree so this is my four uh, basic uh, but one is more importantly that is called my centered one that's why we get finally five kinds so if anybody asks the two dimensional how many various lattices we have five types okay next is that now i am considering three dimensional lattice three dimensional lattice see here we have seven kind of system first is cubic cubic contains everything okay it is simple cubic or body centered cubic or face centered cubic so i can say that simple cubic means it is sc it is simple cubic okay second is that body centered or bcc third one is face centered it is fcc now fcc sorry so if i say that now uh, in a simple cubic everything will be same means a equal to b equal to c and gamma is equal to alpha is equal to beta okay so one thing is more important that what is this alpha beta and gamma i should explain over here see if i am saying this is a this is b and this is c sides of x y z then angle in front of this in front of a it is this this is alpha in front of b this is beta and in front of this this is gamma so all these angles for this is same now next i will consider what there are many uh, tetragonal uh, you can consider anything tetragonal so in tetragonal system is what here a will be equal to b but it will be not equal to c but the all angles all the angle systems are alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree so here uh, see in main uh, in crystallography we have to always consider that uh, imagination power okay so please uh, consider this one here also we get simple means sc and one body center that is bcc next is that third one just third one is my orthorhombic orthorhombic now tell me uh, orthorhombic is the one where we got uh, simple cubic bcc means body centered fcc and even uh, base centered okay so what is the property of our orthorhombic orthorhombic have the property see it i am going a linearly wise means a equal to b equal to c then i consider a equal to b but not equal to c but in orthorhombic what we get a not equal to b not equal to c but all the angles are equal to 90 degree okay now next i will consider 